Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to this brand new video of my fragrance obsession. I hope you're all doing very, very well and I just want to say a big, big thank you for watching my live stream that I did the other night. It was actually very enjoyable and I just want to say a big thank you to those who came in. It was really, really good fun to, you know, get to talk to you and answer some of the questions that you guys were asking me. So thanks again, guys. Now, the fragrance that I'm going to review today comes from a company called Zoologist. Now, this is going to be the first Zoologist fragrance that I'm going to review. Um, it's one out of five, even though I know that the company of Zoologist have a few more fragrances in their catalogue. Now, in case you're wondering who the company of Zoologist are, they're basically a Canadian company who specialise in making niche perfumes, eau de parfums, which are inspired by animals. Now, this is a very different house, very unique, but I really do like the theme. Um, and basically, a zoologist is a type of scientist who looks into different animals, basically. You know, it's somebody who um, basically just studies different animals, you know, from... It could be any type of animal, which is why the company, they basically have perfumes for a lot of different animals. And the perfume that we're going to go for first is this one right here. And this one is called Bat. Now, I'm not a big fan of bats, if I'm honest with you. I often see quite a few bats flying around here at night. I swear, when I was a kid, I'm sure a bat once flew through my bedroom window, and I almost shit myself. Now, I don't know if it was actually a bat, it could have been anything, but I just remember being in bed, and I just remember seeing this black shape fly into my room, and I heard wings flapping. So it could have been a bat, I don't know, because I know blats are Blats. I know bats are basically blind, so I don't know if it actually was a bat or not, but uh, yeah, when I look back, it did kind of creep me out, but um, this fragrance is called Bat. Now, what I really like about this is the fact that it features all the notes inside it, and it tells you a little bit about the fragrance as well. Now, before I go ahead and review this fragrance and basically all the other zoologist samples that I've been given, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Jacques de Vries for basically giving me these samples just out of the goodness of his heart. Thank you so, so much for these, Jack. Honestly, you've really opened my eyes to this company. And if it hadn't been for you, well, basically, I wouldn't be reviewing this for everyone. So thank you very, very much, my friend. So yeah, this is going to be the first zoologist fragrance that I'm going to review for you guys. So I really do hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Now, basically, I'm just going to read what's inside this, okay? Now, it says here, bat. Eau de Parfum by Zoologist. Zoologist Bat Eau de Parfum escorts you on an odyssey through the night. This unique olfactory experience carries you with the fruit bat to a sumptuous feast in a lush tropical jungle before whisking you down to the recesses of its cavernous home. Sweet figs and soft fruits ensnare you with addictive notes, then beckon you deep with primordial mineral scents that evoke a rugged enclosure redolent with hints of damp soil and vegetal roots. Allow yourself to hang draped in pitch black as alluring musk wafts over you with every unfolding of the thousands of leathery wings that surround you. Okay. That's, it says here, Bat Eau de Parfum does not use animal products. I don't know if that's a joke or not, but <laughs> that's good to know. Okay, let's just go ahead and review this, okay? so. Basically, this is what the sample looks like. It was very nice of Jacques to send me this, along with basically every other fragrance that he sent me. But uh, I've been wanting to review these for a while. I've just, of course, never had the time. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Very um, dark color juice. I really do like that. So let's go ahead. Now, the top notes for Zoologist Bat, we get banana, soft fruits, and damp earth. Very unique. Okay, let's go ahead. These are really nice samples. I mean, I know they come from a niche house, but they're very nice. Whoa, this stuff is potent. What do you get when you first smell this? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not like this one when I first smelt it. However, it's really winning me over right now. The smell is so unique but no doubt, so strong. This is a powerhouse scent. It kind of gives off this, like, the damp earth. You know, I do get a sort of soil smell out of this. It's almost like soil and rain. Have you ever, like, gone outside where it's been raining and, you know, you can smell it? 
That's what this kind of reminds me of. I don't really get much banana though. Um, soft fruits. Uh, see, it's. I wouldn't really say this. I mean, it is a little bit fruity, but it's not like a blast of fruit. It's not like a really nice, sweet, fruity fragrance. This one is much more complex. That damp earth really gives this fragrance a very unusual vibe. It's a very different fragrance. So different to the point where I do like it because it is so different. I don't know if I would personally wear it though, but it does smell very good. And you know what else I really like about this company? Um, they have pictures of the animals on each of their like fragrances, but I really like the pictures. And I mean, you can tell they've been done by a really good artist, but I just, I love each like drawing for each animal. It's so good. Like each animal seems to be wearing some sort of like fancy clothing. They look like lords or, you know, something like that. Or somebody who would have been born maybe like in the 1800s or the 1900s. Really, really cool. I really like that idea. But it does, it just, it smells so, it, it gives off a really funky smell. It's smoky, it's earthy. I would also say it was quite animalic, but yeah, a very, very unusual fragrance. But let's go ahead and talk about the middle notes. So in the heart notes, we get fig, tropical fruits, mineral notes, myrrh, resins, and vegetal roots. Now, this fragrance lasts, okay? There's no doubt about it. This is a natural born eau de parfum. I get easily about nine to 10 hours longevity out of this. Um, and I do, think that after it's been on your skin for probably about 10 minutes, it does actually contrast and, well, not contrast, it transitions a lot to actually a, a really different scent. So, like, you start to lose that sort of dampness that it has, that, that sort of wears off. And then after a while, you're sort of left with this sort of soft, sort of fig musk smell like that's all i can really say about it but yeah it, it, it's not a it's not a really bad fragrance i can definitely see why people would dislike this i mean of course like i said i actually used to really not like this i used to think it was just really unpleasant you know in fact i was looking at a review of this and somebody said on forganica that it smelled like shit um I, you know what i can see that i can see why someone would think that but it's a unique fragrance and I respect it for being for, be, for being a very unique fragrance, but I don't know if I would personally wear it. But it is better once it's been on your skin and it's mellowed down a bit. You're just left with this really nice fig note and it just starts to get a little bit more musky. I wanna go ahead and talk about the base notes. Now, in the base we get furry musks, leather, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So, the fragrance definitely mellows out after the after about that third to four hour mark, and then you're left with this really soft, very sweet wood smell. It's it definitely changes. There's no doubt about it. Like like I said at first, it gives off that kind of musky, um, animalic sort of you know damp earth smell. But then after that third to four hour mark, you're pretty much just left with this very soft uh, sandalwood. It's 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 a really really nice fragrance at this point. If I'm honest with you, it does change. But I don't know if people would be willing to wait, you know, three or maybe four hours just to get a better smell, you know. But for what it is, I do respect this fragrance. It is so unique. And I just wanted to get this one out of the way first because it probably is my least favorite, like, least favorite fragrance from the company. Um, I wouldn't personally wear it, but I do like it for what it is. I think it's very unique and I think it's, I think it's a fine example of how, you know, creative you can be in the perfume world, if you like. Because, you know, there are a lot of unique fragrances out there, and I think this is definitely up there with being one of them. So yeah, very unique scent, but guys, I'm thinking, why don't we get my mum's opinion on this fragrance? Uh, I sprayed it in the room before, and she did come in, and she was like, whoa, what is that smell? So I do want to get her opinion now that it's on my skin, and, you know, see what she thinks. So, yeah, let's have a look, shall we? Mother! Oh, would you look at that? Here she comes now. Hello. You okay? Yeah. Hi right, guys. So, so this is my mom, guys. As you know. 
And uh, the fragrance that I've been reviewing is this one, Zoologist. Right. Uh, they're a Canadian niche house. Okay. And they specialise in making fragrances made after animals. I think I've told you about them you before. Have, definitely, yes. And uh, this is definitely my least favourite from the mm. company. Uh, do you want to come further yeah, in the show? Sorry. It's all right. Uh, yeah, see what you think. So the notes that it has are banana, soft fruits and damp earth in the top. It smells like... Actually, it's not as bad smelling it on your hand as it's what it not, is in the air. No, I think when I sprayed it in the air, it, left, it did leave a different smell. It's completely different on your skin mm -hmm. to in the air. It is. It, it smells is. like... Uh, like mold, foisty mold. Yeah, like foist. Yeah, like yeah. a foisty mold when I walked in your room. Yeah. But it's different on your skin. But do you know what it reminds me of? And I said this to everyone in the review, like, do you know when it's been raining and it's like in the middle of summer? Yes. And you go outside and you can smell mm -hmm. the rain yes. after the humidity? It's, it reminds me of it's that. It's like wet moss, it's mossy, it's... Mm -hmm. But walking into your room it just smelled like a damp, like really, like mold, mold yeah. like a mold, a damp mold. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, perfectly. But I don't know if I would personally wear it. I don't know if it's a really wearable fragrance, you know? To be fair, I don't know to show either. No, it's, I don't, unless maybe a mature man could get away with it, you know? It smells quite... It's meant to... I don't mind it on your skin, to be fair. No. I really don't mind it on your skin. Um, I don't mind that. Has it got, it doesn't smell like an incense smell, like a smoky um, smell. It's got fairy musks in it. It's also got myrrh, which is an and incense. It's an incense, I can smell that yeah. in it straight away, yeah. It's got a good nose, hasn't it? got yeah. a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, thank you very much. Okay, just no wanted, bother. Just wanted to get your Fine. opinion. No problem. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that is basically my review for this fragrance. It's called Bat by Zoologist. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of this fragrance. If you have it or if you've ever smelt it, please let me know your thoughts. I think it would take a lot of wearings, you know, to win over somebody. So, you know, I definitely prefer it than the first time I smelt it. You know, again, like I'm saying, more times you wear it, you get used to it, you know. So yeah, guys, that's my review for Bat by Zoologist. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments, guys. Keep smelling good. And thank you so much for watching my first Zoologist review. Look forward to more, guys. See you later. Bye-bye for now.